Welcome back, Achievers, to your Call of Duty Vanguard spoiler cast. I'm one of your hosts, e Ledger, sitting with me today, as always. Alex. I want to finish the fight. Ye oh, yeah, okay. That's from a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your reaction. <laughs> We're I've been trying not to think of Halo because that's all I've been playing. Yeah, exactly. But this is Call of Duty Vanguard spoiler cast. Thank you for joining me today, Alex. We had just beaten Call of Duty Vanguard. I beat it about two days ago. Alex, you've beaten it I beat about it yesterday. Yeah, but yesterday, about twelve hours ago, roughly. Yep. Um, if you're new to us, uh, this is the EG Fair Gaming Call. Yes, normally we post a regular show every Friday, but we're doing things a little differently this week because we have so much content to record. It's gonna be slightly different scheduling this week, but we'll be back to normal in the next few weeks. But anyways. Stay tuned for Friday for the actual show. But this is a spoiler cast. If you want to know how you can support us, let's get into that. You can, of course, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube as of if you're watching it right now. Or if you're listening on a podcast service of your choice, then, of course, you can leave a five-star review, share us with a friend, tweet it out, tweet at us, anything of the sorts. Help us with the algorithm, especially a comment. A YouTube comment goes a long way. Thank you so much for that. Alex, we've gathered today to talk about the latest release of Call of Duty Vanguard. Alex, Call of Duty Vanguard released, of course, November 5th on Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and Series S and X. This is published, of course, by Activision and their large suite of different studios making Call of Duty. This is the 18th installment, Alex. The 18th Call of Duty game in the in the giant Call of Duty franchise. Huh. This is of course a standalone entry. This is not a direct sequel to any game. A lot of people said it was a sequel to World War II. That is untrue. This is a standalone game, not tied to anything else. Mm -hmm. Let's start with our overall thoughts. And then we're going to get into the actual spoiler cast discussion. But this is a review slash spoiler cast. What are thoughts? We played a little bit of the game. We've played a little bit of the multiplayer of the zombies. But primarily, this will be about the campaign. Alex. Mm. What did you think of Call of Duty Vanguard's campaign? I didn't enjoy that out of the somewhat hours of us playing. We heard the word Vanguard once <laughs> what do you, is that is that your main critique of the game you wanted vanguard said more, no more i more no that? i'm just i was just honestly throughout the main of the game i was like why is this called vanguard i said that to myself maybe four times throughout the campaign and then when it finally and then when it finally says it i mean of course it's a spoiler cast so i'm gonna say it yeah. once it, it's it's at the end yeah i was just like oh okay why didn't you just say that to the beginning but okay because I don't think it's a literal it Vanguard. Just, just, I think that's just something they say that well, we are the Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, they're like a team, and that's the, yeah. the team is called the Vanguard. But like, and Achievers, if you don't know what the word Vanguard means, it's a bunch of people who guard vans. Anyways, continue. But um, I just like I mean I like how it's uh, how it was said, and I just, uh, I was just confused from the title. But then once I hit the ending, it made sense. It's just weird that I had to wait to the ending to understand that. I think it's my favorite part. <laughs> Of everything that you brought up, the title is the first thing you had an issue with. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a thousand guesses. Oh. I don't go, Alex is confused about the title of the game. Well, <laughs> it's my, with Call of Duty, it's always been my thing. I'm Never, like, okay, it didn't where did cross they, my mind? Where did they come up with the title? That's where I always, I always think about the title. I'm really? like, well, okay, where did this title come up? Yeah, I, I always, because I always. must have been really easy then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're like, anyways. oh, I wonder what the title. Oh, it's World War II. Got it. Yeah. You know what? It probably confused you. Black mm. Ops Cold War. Why is it called yeah. Black Ops Cold War? Such an awful name. Why didn't Continue. it? Why wasn't it just called Cold War? Thank you. <laughs> this isn't a. This isn't like it's not, the, it's not we, we we did we did we even play as a Black Ops team? <laughs> They're just a, a, a bunch point. of people, but they they were never called. They never called themselves a Black Ops team. That's true. I think they are technically Black Ops because they're like off the book or whatever you want to call it. But it was very much 
you kind of squint. You're like, is what is this? Anyways, this that's not important. Um, but anyway, uh, the, anyway. What, what did you think of the actual story of um title aside? I enjoyed from what I played. Very too short. Uh, so it uh, le- left me a little underwhelmed or like it was like disappointing because I'm like, man, I wanted to play more and get more base with these characters, but it. For what it was, I should. I feel like it should have been longer. Um, Alex, if you remember, you brought up to me yesterday when you beat the game. Why did mm-hmm. I sigh? Because I was with you when I actually finished the game, mm-hmm. and I sighed. And you asked, "Oh no, what happened?" Expecting me to be upset about something. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I said, "I'm not upset about anything. I'll tell you once you finish the game. You can call me once mm-hmm. you finish the game, and I'll tell you why yeah. I sighed." You called me, and you were like, "Hey, I finished it." So what? Why uh, you were confused? Like nothing bad happened. So why'd you sigh? And I told you the reason I sighed, the reason I was upset, is because there is a lot of potential in this that is just wasted. Um, there's great writing. Uh, there are great vignettes. There is great stories. I'm invested in the characters. I enjoy all of them. I love Wade. I love. Paulina. Excuse me. Oh, thank you, Paulina. I love each and every one of the cast. Why? The, why did I have to wait to the last mission to for it to be the best part in the game? The, I love the voice acting. The actual mocap is great in the scenes. All these things are great. Mm-hmm. And then we get the coolest thing at the end with the very last, literally the last mission when you are uh, jumping from each character to character, and it, mm-hmm. you can tell from almost the beginning of the game that you're like you guys needed way more time to tell this great story because this is Mm -hmm. there's so many times where i'm like i'm really actually invested in what this kind of thing is now and it isn't fast forwards (laughs) i don't love the constant flashbacking because it's constant literally the moment you start the game and like you enter in the jail cell he and and the um i'm sorry i'm blanking on the captain's name Arthur Kinsey. Thank you, Arthur. And Arthur is sitting there, te- you know, giving like kind of the dossier of each per- each mm-hmm. character, and you keep going back, and you all, everyone gets two flashbacks. Like that was, you know, like that's the thing. Everyone gets two flashbacks, two flashback missions. Um, so I I didn't love the actual narrative structure, as in the only way we get the characters is through these flashbacks, but the actual overall story. And where we ended was very cool. Yeah. It scream Alex screams wasted potential. Screams it. We're almost guaranteed to not see these people ever again. I do not think we're gonna get a Call of Duty Vanguard 2. Do not think that at all. Um, mainly because no one's talking about this Call of Duty. Um, this was of course um sorry, I did not mention the top. This is developed by Sledgehammer. Um, there was a writing team behind it, but the actual main credited writers, uh, Stephen Rhodes, Sam Maggs, and Tochi Unbushi. Apologies if I... It's main credited writers. Completely shocked if they get a sequel to this. I hope they do, but I mentioned 18 installments of the Call of Duty franchise. How many of those are sequels? Four. Like... Five, because oh, there's forgot Modern Warfare's. Yeah, there's two sequels to Modern Warfare, and there's three sequels to Black Ops. So yeah, five. There's five sequels out of the eighteen. Technically, if you're count, count, call, counting Call of Duty two and three, and then into four, there's technically seven. But not many sequels out of that eighteen. Let's uh let's not forget Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Ghosts. These all ended with cliffhangers mm-hmm. that are never going to be resolved. Especially Ghosts. You remember that with the guy who sh- who who the guy you thought you killed for some reason appears behind you and pulls you away and it just ends. You're like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. Um But yeah, I th- my main thing is love the love the campaign. This has actually been a while since I've enjoyed. We actually talked about this, Alex. It's been a while since I've actually enjoyed a campaign from Call of Duty. Last one I enjoyed Modern Warfare. The last one before that, Black Ops Two. Yep. Yeah. So that's not that's a lot of missing Call of Duties. 
Mm -hmm. I'm usually buying it to try the campaign to see if I like it. Yeah. Again, I generally don't. I usually either drift to the multiplayer or I just don't play anything else. Mm -hmm. Our boy um, Reznov. I, forget, I never forget Reznov ever. But I've talked for, I've talked to a minute. What do you What are your thoughts on the overall? You You gave a little piece of of I, I, no, I want I, a little more. What What are your I, overall I thoughts? Like, do you do you enjoy? You said you agree, so like you're not a fan yeah, of the so kind of flashbacky. I, I, well, I did I did enjoy that because it does give backstory to each character and how they got there. But I wish right. they would have done it in a in a different way. Yeah. So for like instead of everybody getting their backstory in this jail cell, you know, I feel like instead they would be like, oh, we're do they're doing this main mission. You playing? They they should have done it like kind of like different. Like instead of yep. just being back to back. And I wanna I wanna know your opinion on this. For me, both shocks just don't work. The shock that the character you start as in the first mission immediately dies. That didn't work for me because A, no kind back. of been done before. Yeah, Novak. No, Novak. Uh, A, kind of been done before. You kind of have done these surprise deaths to the first character that you play in a video game, so it's not like really new. Two, I don't know who I am, so it doesn't matter when the guy dies. I, I don't know who it is. Second, when they do it again... They do like a surprise, like fast kill. There's a dude named Richard. Richard. Yep. I didn't even see his face. I don't even know what he looked like. When he got shot in the head, I, I was like, I don't remember. Did I play as him? I, did, I had to like, oh, was that the guy in the flashback I just played? And then I went, wait, no, it's that guy. So why do I care? Again, more, screaming more. This game needed way more time. This easily mm -hmm. could have been double the length. You could have had your second act end with the capture. Your first act is the introduction of the team doing a cool mission. You go into the second act of the chat of getting captured. Maybe you have flashbacks sprinkled throughout, not the narrative of the game. Mm -hmm. It's I don't know. I feel like it, they tried doing the war story thing, but like in a more uh, cohesive narrative. Cohesive, yeah. yeah. In, that, yeah I hundred percent agree. This is almost. I mean, you go th you go from like 1943, are, then it was like 1945, right? But like locations, I think you, I think you went oh, from you, like oh, yeah. the Horn of Africa to like uh, uh, Stalingrad. Like it oh, definitely yeah. it does feel like a war Stalingrad. story where you're jumping yeah. all over the, all the place. Australia, and, I think. And, yeah, Australia. Yes, that was Australia. Wait, no, were they was in Australia? I don't even remember. I don't remember. Yeah, it's not important. Uh, we'll we'll get to the the synopsis in a second. It, it's important, but we'll talk about it in a second. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that I forgot. Who cares? Um. Uh, back 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 to what uh what I was saying. Yeah the the idea of this kind of being like, hey, we enjoy, people enjoyed the war stories. Um. So let's see if we can kind of thread that in a diverse cast, and let's have them doing something like. Let's have them go hunt these Nazis or look for a very specific um, projects. And I do like this plan. It's 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 like half heist, half assassination plot. Very fun. You're like we we know there's Project Phoenix. We know about it. We got to go find what it is. We don't know what it is, but we got to go figure it out. Oh, there's this uh, evil Nazi guy that's hiding out there. We got to go kill his ass. All right, well, now we got caught, and then they're like, oh, well, this is part of the plan. Like, now we're in the heart of the of, of the place and the backdrop of 1945 Berlin. It's a fucking hellhole because it's about to get destroyed um, uh, by, you know, the good guys. Um, so Berlin's <laughs> in, in flames. You see the Nazis looking at a distance like, this place is fucked. We're got to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so much potential so it's such a cool atmosphere too of you do get to kind of see these nazis that are like i'm looking too good mm -hmm. yeah, they, <laughs> they, not they have too no good. idea what to do because they're like oh hitler's dead what do we do now yeah well yeah when they walk in they tell them hitler's dead they're like fuck like it's they're like the walls are closing in and they're like shit this isn't looking good <laughs> you know so there's a lot of cool moments and again the game screaming at me over and over again like oh if this had a little more time this would have hit so much harder the deaths mm. the consequences um although the ending is satisfying 
uh, with the kind of fake out that he thinks he is like getting one on, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna get taken care of. Maybe I'll start a family in the Americas and stuff." And they're like, "Nah, nah, no, we're not letting that happen." Um, Did you like that the main villain of this thing wasn't the wasn't the main villain in a way? Like, so for example, Frising Frising was the main. was the main. Yeah. The uh, fear guy, he, he, yeah, yeah, but he's not the main villain, to right. in my opinion. I feel like Richter is because he's the one doing all the interrogations throughout each thing. You definitely have more of a c- connections, not a word that I'm not. You, don't, don't you ha- you you get to interact with him you, way yeah. more than you do with Freisinger? With the, yeah, exactly. And honestly, oh. I know Freisinger is the big bad, but I cared way more about um, the Richter. Richter, yeah. like that. Like when we bested him, I was like, "Yeah, this is really cool." Okay, and, uh, and, again, and again, yeah, the, that actor, great. Again, yeah. mocap, great. His the, yeah, the, the yeah. reactions, the the scene where he, where he gets stabbed was oh, very powerful to me, at least. Mm-hmm. Like when that whole scene, it was very tense. When he, he just when, slowly, when Arthur says, uh, "I don't remember the thing," but he's like right below the cavalcle, right? And, and yeah, like right, and calling back to when he said, "Like, hey, I'm thinking about where I'm going to cut you, uh, and, mm-hmm. and when I kill you, like sh- it's shit like that." Where I'm like, "Fuck!" Like this is yeah, cool. That was good. Like, like there are cool, so many cool scenes and so many uh, tense moments. Mm-hmm. Um, again, just. Needed more time to to really mm-hmm. set that up, but I do agree with you that the new Führer, which they try to hype up as the Fourth Reich at the very end of the game, mm-hmm. to kind of be like, yeah, uh, Riker's a bad guy, but this guy, he's gonna be the new Reich, and it was just weird introducing a new ma- a new main villain in the third act is challenging because yes we've seen him and but he wasn't we've like a, been, it, it's just like he's just been in the back like oh yeah you. it's it's yeah. yes we know like, oh, we know yeah, riker's we been intimidated by him we know he's mm-hmm. kind of frightened a little when he interacts with him um mm-hmm. but that almost to me was like oh this is setting up the i thought they were setting up the next game like i thought mm-hmm. he he was gonna get away um by the way uh the like the places they escaped to argentina all that that's that's real places that nazis went and hung out go look it Mm -hmm. up it's fucking crazy go look up argentina germany houses there's straight up places in argentina that look like they're just made in germany it's fucking weird go look it up um so i thought it was gonna set up a like nazi hut in the next game like you're gonna go to the tropics of a uh maybe an uh, argentina trying to find him but no, it ends and you catch him and you kill him. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. But, um, so I do think that was slightly wasted. And also the idea of the Fourth Reich was like, okay, all right. So these scientists or whatever are going to try and like restart this later on. Okay. That does, is a good startup point for a new game or whatever. But again, it seems to have all been resolved at the end anyways. So no, I, I to answer your question in a very long winded way, I also agree with you. I didn't love it. I it it yeah. seemed um kind it just of seemed like a weird put. decision. Yeah, it 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 did. I, I again, I'll go back to like I kind of thought that was going to be the next game. I thought he was mm-hmm. going to be set up as being the the actual big bad, and and Riker was mm-hmm. just his bitch boy. But honestly, I thought they would do the 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 switcheroo. To where Richter was pretending to be a uh, the the bitch the bitch boy yeah the bitch but boy but he winds up being the the fear guy be yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh, or, actually or the whole time he was uh, conniving to like wait for the perfect time and be like oh yeah and no I'm kill- I'm gonna take yeah. it. he kills him yeah that would have been a cool mm-hmm. setup too or um, maybe uh, even like an interesting twist to see but no yep. we didn't see any of that um Alex let's. Go over some of these missions. Uh, very quickly, mm. um, I just want to bring up my favorite cast member. Um, I'm a little biased because I just enjoy Laura Bailey in general, but... For sure. Uh, my God. She's so cool. So so cool. Fucking cool. That sniper rifle Requiem. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I will say the... Her mission in the beginning, little long. I get it. 
You wanted to show I us, had, like, look how happy everyone is. I guess I'm I, like, it's one of the jokes in TV shows or sorry, in movies where you go like, I'm so glad to be alive. Isn't being alive so good? You're just walking by all these people like, I'm so glad to be alive and I'm glad I'm going to be alive for so long. And as you're walking, like maybe there's a guy, there's a cop. He's like, yeah, I'm just two days away from retirement. You know, like, like it felt like all these like really, really cliche things happening. I was like, I get it. We're about to all fucking die, but it lasts a little too long for it to be like really dramatic. But again, I do enjoy that they like, like with a snap, oh, almost immediately everything was destroyed, which I kind of liked. Like, I feel like you blinked and like the whole town was gone, which was kind of it, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's how realistic it could be. Like, yeah, of the, course. Like, I mean, you saw many bombs just randomly. Yeah were dropping yeah, I mean, that's, stuff, that's how so. it that's how probably how it was yeah no and it was and i did enjoy that like they did very much like it felt like you like fell and by the time you got up everything around you was completely obliterated and i did like mm -hmm. that aspect i just think the lead up took a little too long mm -hmm. what'd you think uh, oh and is that who's your favorite character and give me no, a, Polina you know, a little for bit sure, of reason because i, I like how she okay. can climb and i like how she can move very fast while she's so you, crouching so you did like the climbing aspect in this game a little bit. I I got I, I got a little Assassin's Creed feeling. Yeah. But it's it was it was fine. It was um it was different and I did I did enjoy it being different for for a Call of Duty game. Um I did have was having trouble in this mission because I found like a bug, I guess. I had to like completely delete my my game and restart it. But like the game would keep losing its audio and uh, it would glitch. I'm sorry not to interrupt you, uh, achievers. But, we did play this on PS5. Yes. Just, just so we know, we didn't reference that. Most you know, hardcore achievers would have assumed we played this on Xbox. We did play this yeah. on PS5. Uh, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I had my Pulse headphones right uh, connected, and it just randomly it would just cut off the audio. Yeah, and I was like, "What the hell is happening?" I take them off. It's, it keeps it stops doing it, then it keeps doing it, then my it would just be like really jerky and weird. So I was like, what is happening? I'm like, oh man, it's my system. So I just deleted the game, reset it, re re redid it. Didn't worry about the headsets right now. And it, I finally got past that mission. But like, it, it almost ruined the mission for me because I was like, yeah. man, it's like, I was like, is this a bug? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was. It fixed it when I deleted the game. So I, it must have been a game bug. So shockingly, I didn't get that many crazy bugs. I got one, and I say shockingly just because, um, I think that was the only one I got. I don't know. I guess not shockingly because Call of Duty's are usually kind of polished for the most part. Yeah. Like yeah, it's not shockingly, but but I did have one instance. I don't know what caused this. I want to say probably because the actual system was in rest mode and it just got wonky trying to turn it back on. But I had I think um, that was my. I think that's what happened. Mine. I had one instance where it's hard to really explain achievers, but basically, I got onto a mission. And picture your screen going all gray, like one time every 0.5 seconds. I know that sounds weird, but like it, it was not even 0. 0.5, like 0. 0.32, like something so fast where you're like, you can tell it's happening, but it's happening so fast that you're like, you can't even pinpoint when it happened. You just know it happened. And I was like, this is fucking weird. Maybe I'm a, I got nervous. I was like, oh, this is my TV. I just restarted the game. Never happened again. So I think it was just a weird sleep mode thing. Like with a lot of yeah. games, uh, it seems to be. But of course we, um, Alex, we did have, um, like I said, two missions essentially with each character. Um, let's start off with uh, Lucas Riggs. He was the uh, Rats of Trebek Garrison or uh, Tobruk uh, Garrison. Um, this this mission, and these two missions, anyways. Uh, I did not enjoy the first mission, although. <laughs> Nighttime uh, one, right? Yeah. So this is when you're sneaking around. Um, yeah. And you go to the giant camp, and they're like, "All right, let's go blow up all the ammo and stuff." Uh, and then it ends with you shooting a plane down. <laughs> I had issues with this, Alex. You did not. I'll explain my mm -hmm. side. So, Alex. Um, mm -hmm. you used a fucking turret to kill mm -hmm. the airplane. Yes. Uh, which is probably what the game wants you to do. 
probably yeah. what the game wants you to do. I did not know that. I did not hear anyone say anything about a turret. I walked out and said, oh, we need to shoot the airplane down. And I went, okay, I'll shoot it. Thinking it would start maybe a segment or something, or the game would tell me, like, here's a rocket launcher or something. Mm -hmm. Um, So I go to shoot it. I'm doing damage, I can tell. Uh, But it's very hard to kill it (laughs) because you're shooting at it with a gun and it's an airplane. So, you know, I get it. There's a wave that comes in, and I see a, uh, them have rockets. I'm like, oh, the game's telling me, use these rockets to kill them. So I wipe out the wave, grab the rocket, go to aim in. Worst rocket I've ever seen in any video game. The entire screen turns into this giant green box, and there's a tiny circle in the middle, and you got to hit a fucking airplane coming at you. So that wasn't going to happen. So I was like, I guess I will just shoot it until it dies. I did that. I remember telling Alex, like, you're going to get to this mission with a fucking airplane. That's all I'm going to say is sucked. And you're like, okay. And then when you beat the game, you're like, by the way, I did that. Uh, it was really easy. I was just on a turn the whole time. And I was like, there's a fucking turret. No point. Does the game tell you that I very much Literally? hated that mission because of that. Annoying. Literally right after you, you destroy the tanks. Like I just, it, it was like, Oh, there's an airplane. Shoot at it. I started shooting at it. And it was like, it started to shoot at me. So I was like, Oh, let me run. Let me run in. I saw this little shit. I was like, Oh, it's cover. I got into cover. And literally one of the people was like, Hey, use that turret. I look over fucking turret city right there. I was like, Oh, okay. So and frustrating. Just, yeah. It wasn't even an objective to do. It was just one guy just said it. If someone would have said that, I would have went, Oh, there's a turret around here somewhere. Let me go find it. Yeah. At no point does either NPC go, Hey, go use the giant machine gun all in the open to shoot the airplane down. To be fair, <laughs> the little building looked kind of like an outhouse. It was just like a little small little building by the mountain. That was it. God, I hated that mission because I had to do that. And it's so easy to die because you're trying to shoot the airplane while it's yeah. shooting a giant machine gun at you while there's people spawning in. Mm, I literally was just using the turret and killed everybody in the lanes and then shot the airplane. It was easy. It was <laughs> so, easy. <laughs> so mad. Dude, I'm so mad. I'm so uh, mad. You finish that, of course. You blow everything up. And then the next mission yep. starts with... Um, let's see. Sh- 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 uh, of course, you get jailed for insubordination. Like, what the fuck? Um, right? And like, then the what? Battle of El Alamin. Riggs and the rats are ordered by Hams to form a defensive line, but they disobey the command and try to retake the hill to call, call in bomber support. And you and Dez go and do that. Uh, you succeed, but Dez is killed. Uh, Dez was so cool. So this is another, again, how strong this is. I only had two missions with Dez immediately mm-hmm. cared about this character and how he interacted with the with my guy and when yep. he dies which um not done in my opinion very well because well, he yeah. dies essentially off camera because it's not like you're going to be staring at des when he dies but you do hear like a gunshot happen and you hear uh, your character goes like alex what des no or, or oh no or, or something like yeah, that he, he yeah, cries yeah, out he, in pain basically yeah he's he said something that was like oh our left flank is op- is broken he looks over or I look over and he's like, he's like, Des, no. And, and like, you just start shooting people and you can see Des kind of like moving a little bit. But then by the time yeah. you get to him, whatever, he's, he's dead. Yeah. So definitely like, a oh, strange choice for that. That definitely should have been a cutscene. It does not yeah. play well in open gameplay when your character just dies. Cause you're not no. going to be staring at him when he's dead or sorry. You're not going to be staring at him while you're actively fighting people. So that was weird. Um, yeah. But I did very much care for the character. As soon as I saw he was on the ground, essentially dying, I was like, oh, shit. And I'm, like, mm-hmm. spraying, like, all these people down to try and kill him as fast as I can. Um, very tense moment that very much ends with mm-hmm. the bombing happening and killing everyone. Uh, and then you bury Dez. Um, very very sad moment. But, again, um, played very well, just in a yep. strange way. Yes, same. It's very weird. Yeah. And then we go to – this isn't in order, by the way. This is just um, a synopsis from Wikipedia, by the way. This is why it's all out of order. Because technically, I think we're going in reverse order, which what, I don't know yeah. why it's this way, but it doesn't matter. Um, then we go to the United States Navy pilot, uh, Lieutenant Wade Jackson Wade in the Jackson. Battle of Midway. Um, that was cool. I did yep. not love the controls, if I'm being honest. It felt a little strange with me trying to kind of drive because... Yeah, actually engaging in dogfights were strange. Like when I was actually shooting at at the actual other airplanes, don't I can't I'm not 
I was huge, missing half my shots. I'm not a huge airplane guy, so I can't tell you why it fell off for Strange Achievers. Let me know if um, you all felt the same way. But when I was doing this, I kind of, it just I don't know. It felt weird. Like I, well, it I've, wasn't it wasn't as free as normally dogfight games would be. It was it was very it was, it was trying to keep you very, it was yeah I was trying to keep you very linear. Like instead of being like, oh, you're dogfighting, so now like let's say let's zoom out your plane yeah. and you get this free sandbox in the air. It doesn't do that. It still keeps you kind of in a lane. And when you try to move, you have to like Very literally. Sluggish. I had I had all my my fucking sticks fucking moving, and it was just like, <laughs> like all right, yeah, like, I it, agree. It was, yeah, I agree. And also the um, uh, tell me if you remember what they were called. It was. The bomb run? Is it the bomb dive? Bomb dive? Bomb dive. Yeah. Bomb dive. Yeah. That was yeah, that you was go cool. Up and then you could dive and that was cool. I didn't know what to do. Oh. I just said aim at it, and I'm like, okay, I'm aiming at it. Alex. So the first time I did it, I <laughs> went, okay, I'm I'm doing? diving down. It says keep aiming at it. I'm like, okay. I wish they kind of yeah, explained that shooting. better. And <laughs> yeah, and then it finally turns green and you hit it, and they're like, all right, pull up, giving you no time to react. I just. <laughs> I kamikaze into the fucking airplane. I'm like, maybe give me a, a tutorial, like not a tutorial, but at least say, hey, you're gonna get to this altitude, hit the bomb and pull up. You, you tell me that bef before I'm feet away from death. <laughs> like, why? Why did it take so long? I but saw. I saw the, the the. It's like, oh, green. It's pull up. I'm like, oh shit. I, I, did, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did the thing. Like, imagine if I really had the thing. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I'm the same way. Like I go to pull up, and I'm like, I am way too get dedicated. And I'm dead. Boom! It died. So after it did that, the cutscene, and I, if if it didn't do the cutscene, I feel like it would have killed me. Yeah. Um. That that's basically that mission, though. It, it was not not my favorite mission because the plane just didn't yeah. feel good. Yeah, it just didn't feel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you then um you do crash. Uh, You're with uh, Mateo. Yeah. In Bougainville, yes, in Bougainville, you're captured and then rescued by the 93rd Infantry Division, and then you'll help them in reclaiming the island. Cool. That's I not the Numa Numa Trail one, is is it? That's a um, different mission. The Numa Numa Trail. They. I just remember the Numa Numa Trail is like that, more. It's like the woods area. That should be the Numa Numa Trail. Oh, okay. okay, okay. It, I don't have the actual names of the missions, but that gotcha. should be the Numa Numa Trail because. Um, yeah. I believe that's where you get the trophy of not getting hit by the sniper in the tree. Yes, it is. So, yeah. uh, fucking dude, hit me once. Yeah, me too. I, I I was perfect the whole time, but the like the first time you see he's there, you get hit. I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna go kill this motherfucker. <laughs> I, I did the thing. I did the thing. Was like, oh, I'm at the end of the line. I just rushed it. Bah, hit me. I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was that was that was pretty that was fun. Though. That that mission was cool. I liked that. I and, like um, his focus ability. It's like when you slow mo's when you aim in and then you start shooting and it and it auto it goes to everybody in auto sight. Locks, yeah. That yeah, was definitely that. that is first off definitely the most useful ability. Oh um, yeah. We didn't mention that in the beginning, but each character does have a you could say ability, ability kind of not really. Some have passives, I guess. Something that they could do. Yeah. And I would say his is by far the better and coolest one. Yeah, because Polina's uh, is just like tell the brother to go distract something. Ba barely, it's not even that's barely, barely. the ability because I you could say her like I guess it, I guess you can say that's her ability and also you can say um the ability to crawl space and climb is yeah. also her stuff. But that's, that's true. That's not as cool as the fucking focus. I thought hers was gonna be some sort of cool sniper thing. Mm -hmm. Why was it, it was not some like cool a, sniper thing? thing yeah. Like, why can't it be a she like takes a deep breath and it slow mo's and like you get to like auto lock on a head or I don't know some. I was hoping what? it was kind of like it would be like the focus thing, but like it, the, the uh, enemy would turn red so you can see exactly where they're at and it could just do. The, or like, let me out, ah. Alex. Sniper elite. That's her ability. Oh, slow mo the. Yeah, that's and maybe you do cool. bonus damage or something, or it's a yeah, guaranteed you, kill when you have you get it that, or something. You get that once in this whole game where you you see her cool bullet slow mo. That was yeah. cool though, right? Right? Yeah. Can we agree? That was the coolest part of this fucking game because you don't expect it to immediately go to a cutscene. Like yeah. you go to shoot because I was shooting each person. This is for my for Misha, or whatever. Uh, yeah, for Misha. Ah, Just straight. Yep fucking do burns to death in front of you oh it was so cool just that. cooked flesh right oh god it's fucking cool it's, it's so smells cool. great 
Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but you do help reclaim the island. Very cool. I did love the uh, division you hang out with. They were mm-hmm. fucking awesome. Those guys were very cool. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the 90s or the 69th? Ni- uh, 93rd. 93rd, okay. Yeah, 93rd remember. Infantry Division. Though They were fucking yep. cool. Like, they gave it mm-hmm. to you straight. They're like, shut up, bitch. Come, come with us. <laughs> we're going to go with you a plane. Um, uh, very weird how they show the death of the flamethrower guy. Um, another instance, oh, yeah. Another instance of... God, I really love living. Don't you? Don't you love living? What are you going to do when you come out of this? Huh? I think I'm going to go see my family because I love my family. What do you think? And it fucking dies immediately. Like, I, like, I was like, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. I get up. You're dead. <laughs> like, you it's make like the it dude a at little the very too obvious. With, um, it's like the dude at the beginning with Arthur. Uh, he, oh, he's like, I'm going to peek out the door. Oh, you ain't <laughs> yeah, gets sniped and you see his fucking head just gone. Yeah, yeah, that was fucked I'm like, up. All right, that was fucked up because because that, that was one of those saving private Ryan, saving, saving private Ryan. Ryan moments where you're like, holy shit, because you because you know like shit like that happens. You're like, oh god, oh, yeah. that was that was pretty traumatic to watch. Um, so, co- complete sidebar. The gore in this, if you ever actually look at it, is mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah, I killed a guy. One of the jugger news they had a weird name for Juggernauts? it. Nuts? Didn't oh, they? Oh, you talking about you talking about the the ones in black with the big weird mask? Yeah, but they call they didn't they say something else? Jugger news or something? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They, completely important. Don't know why I keep say, saying it. But I sh- first off shredded this fucking guy. It was one of the guys in the train station. Me and my team just destroyed this dude together. And um, I th- don't know what caused it, but he was blown in half. And I went to make sure he was dead, not knowing he was in half, of course. And I go to look at him, and his straight up intestines are hanging out of his body. And I yes. and I was talking to you at the time, and I literally go, "Oh my god, that's graphic!" <laughs> like I just wasn't expecting it. I mean, I I mean it was, I mean that's pretty graphic. I've you know I've not personally seen intestines, but mm. fucking looked real to me. Very gross. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was yeah. It's one thing about the World War Two Call of Duty games they, that I've noticed yeah. they, 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 they do def- a lot of emphasis. Definitely in those. do. Definitely yeah. do. Um, that was uh, but yeah, that's a cool mission. It ends with you getting a plane and and mm. uh, that that's all I have for that one though. And then of course, um, Polina Petrova. Of course, you do that beautiful walk around the beautiful city. Everyone tells them how far they away from retirement. Very glad to be alive. Everyone's so glad to be alive. Um, and they can't wait for the war to be over to just hang out with the family and just be alive all the time. Mm-hmm. And then they all immediately die. And then do you know things just getting destroyed? Yep. Yep. That whole mission basically is like you kind of like fi- seeing your father died and then you have to go save Misha because his whole ca- uh, platoon got kidnapped immediately. When, I guess when the war started, um, you yeah. go and slowly assassinate everybody. Um, I'm very happy that, uh, there's a finally a World War II Assassin's Creed game, uh, so this <laughs> was cool. But I, I did enjoy this, although she really does shine in the next mission, in my opinion. But this one is mm-hmm. a very cool. Let's get to know her. Um, I did actually, I did really, uh, I joke about it. I did like her interactions with her parents because you do kind of see their very loving relationship very quickly. Um, again, writing wasted. So good mm-hmm. writing, such good it was writing. Very up quickly. How the father died. He died in the fucking uh, the yeah, line fire it. thing. I yeah, forget what they're called. He's just, but good, good for him. He was just talking shit the whole time. He was like, "Fuck mm-hmm. y'all, fuck this." He could do shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you guys are gonna lose. Blah blah. blah. He gets he yeah. gets shot, but he went out. He's like, like boss. he's like, where's it? Yeah, where's <laughs> it? Um, very touching scene too when you find him. Um, mm-hmm. doesn't he say protect Misha or something like that? Um, uh, whatever. It, it, it was a cool scene. Uh, and then you go save your brother. Not not much happens after that. But you do get crowned Lady Nightingale in the next mission. Fucking, is there a cooler name, Alex? Right? Lady Nightingale? Are you kidding me? Dope. Dragon Age. Dragon Age, Alex. Um, <laughs> Li- uh, fun fact, Liliana, also named Nightingale. That was also her assassin name. You know who else is Nightingale? Oh. Florence. Florence Nightingale. Uh, that's... Yes, yeah. that's yeah. her actual name too. So it's a little different. Um, <laughs> much cooler because that's her actual name. Yeah, that's much cooler though because that was her actual name. 
Mm. Like they so, like when someone Nightingale. had to walk up to you, they'd have to say Miss Nightingale. That's I mean, pretty fuck cool. Yeah, right. Uh, and then we go to the snowy place. I don't remember where he is, but uh, basically, uh, Misha just fucking dies. Oh yeah. Uh, and, but he goes Ooh. out in a boss ass way. Two grenades, fucking. He's like, like hey, hey, you better run. Detaches yeah. two grenades and drops them, and she's like, oh shit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> God, I just love that because it because it was so quick. She's like, I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving. He's like, Nah, you probably should just blink and drop some immediately. And she's like, Fuck. <laughs> fucking. So luckily, there was a fucking hole right there next yeah. to her to throw herself in. Yo, Misha, high confidence in his sister. High confidence <laughs> in his sister because he's like, I I trust you'll get away. I trust you'll get away. <laughs> just fucking. If you drop don't, oh well, then we're fucked. <laughs> S- sorry, I can't hold this much longer. <laughs> but but that that happened. Yeah. She gets away. Uh, luckily, doesn't get blown to smithereens uh, to, with her brother. Um, but very cool scene after this. She goes and tries to get Steiner, but um, settles for um. Oh no, sorry, she does get Steiner. Steiner. Yeah. I was thinking of Richter, but no, she, gotcha, she gotcha. goes to Steiner. Um, you have that very big kind of almost small area, but not, you know, not mall area, but, you know, a big building with a hole in the middle and you're, sni- you're shooting other snipers. Very cool scene. Um, or, I guess, battleground, whatever you want to call it. And then you finally get to him. Um, I, they do the thing where you drop your gun and you kind of have a boss fight with him. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. What did you think I- of this? At first, I guess I had my brightness too low because, dude, every, the whole room was black. I was like, bro, I cannot find you. I think and you I was, asked me, like, hey, did you have trouble seeing here? And I was like, I mean, no, it was kind of dark, but I could see everything. And you're like, oh, no, my brightness is all the way down. That explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, I, I, I didn't love this. I, I thought it was fine. Yeah. But it, I don't know. To me, the, the, I, these are way too easy. I don't ever feel I enjoyed, tense. I enjoyed that fight versus the one you did prior where you had to fight a bunch of people and then you peek and then the motherfuckers just sniping you instantly. Yeah, those like, snipers were annoying. Like that was annoying, dude. Oh, really my quickly, God. um Um I think it <laughs> I think it wasn't super tense because I wasn't intimidated by Steiner. Cause I really yeah. felt like if if Paulina actually did get caught, he she would just fucking wreck this guy. Yeah. So maybe that's a partly the reason why I was like not tense at all. Cause I was like, she could, she could take the this only guy. time I was tense is like when I saw him and I was like, Oh, okay. So let me just get the cover. And all I look back and all I see is this dude booking it to me. And I'm like, Oh shit. I wasn't expecting that. All right, move. Uh, <laughs> you finally, you eventually catch him. You go up to the top of the building. He's spouting nonsense and you go, yeah, whatever bitch. And you push him, off. Kick him um, off. Well, after you like stab him a bunch, then you push him off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she just went, fucking. Yeah. And then he yeah. face plants into the ground while his other uh, uh, Look- shoulders are f- shooting down there. And they just go, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and she's just standing there and they go to shoot him. And the sit. By the way, did I miss something? There was a firefight happening this whole time. Didn't hear a single gunshot, right? Am I the only one? I was weirded out by that. When when it, all of a sudden there were people shooting at other people, I was like, wait, what didn't this happen? Did I miss something? I I didn't even know that was uh, that was happening. Yeah, exactly. Cause cause like they go and they look up to shoot, and there's other people running at them, like shooting them. And I was like, wait, what? People are fighting, but uh, we didn't hear a single gunshot from where we were. Probably did that so you could so the noise is paying being paying attention to your fight. I don't know. Eh, It doesn't matter. But um, and that again, she's dope as fuck. When you see him face playing, I was like, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> like, that mm-hmm. was definitely like, yeah, Belina, get him. Uh, she she is very, very cool. And I did I do love her dynamic. She's of, definitely ruthless. Oh, yeah. And I love it for her. I love that for her. Oh, I, love same. It. I love it. She's like, I don't have anything to lose. I'll kill. I'll just keep. Ki-. Doesn't she say um in the jail scene? She was like, oh, she's like, oh, where are you going to go after this? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and be like. I killed Nazis, so I I I'm here. I'm where exactly where I need to be. I'm like fuck. All fucking right, fucking cool. So cool. She's so cool. Um, but yeah. uh, uh, I do love her. Um, also dynamic with the other team. Uh, my one of my favorite lines in the whole game is um, uh, 
I think it's when they le- when they're leaving, and she just goes, "I still haven't decided if I'm gonna kill you guys or not." <laughs> like, it's yeah. fucking, it's just a good line. It's a good quick line that you could just not pay attention to. But I just love that she's like, "Yeah, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna kill you guys or not." <laughs> like, fucking, it's so cool. I love her. Um, uh, that's her thing. Yeah, and then um, that uh, these all kind of end with how they find Arthur. Um, in my opinion, a little loose, a little. No, little it was very loose, loose because, because they just go, and that's what brought him to me. And I was like, "How did Wade doing did they, this yeah. bring you to him? What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, you know, like, like with Polina finishing that mission, it's like so that so so is after her finishing this, does that mean you went to go recruit her? Because you didn't show that. Yeah, again, time, that and is- again, again, I didn't know he was recruiting anybody at the very beginning. He could be like, oh. I'm recruiting a team. These are my main people. Start with this person. Very Polina. easily could have had a almost Avenger like moment where you are yeah. building this dossier of these cool people. How yeah. are you gonna get them? I don't know. We could do the X and Y Z, but again. And I know they did that with Modern Warfare, because in Modern Warfare, the Captain end, Price has had the had the dossier. That's thing, different yeah. though, it's at the end and we, I know. We, we're not a part of that process. We because uh, I guarantee you we're always we're already gonna have these people at the start of Modern Warfare 2. So yeah. you can't even use the argument they done it already. They didn't. They haven't done that. So yeah, well, you know, they had the idea. But um yeah, I was hoping they would do that, be like, oh, uh, Arthur Kingsley, uh you're trying to develop a team uh is or whatever is you know and they don't give that you know and it's like oh who do you want it's like oh this person this person this person and then at the very end it's like oh and we are the vanguard and that, that would have made more sense to me i didn't even know he created a team i thought they were just together my favorite is like each one ends and is like and her, her and, and like and you see how like it eventually ended up with me or something and i'm like yeah, like that was weird. He ended it's up like when you me. end a set, it's just like it just ends like and 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 we got together. It's like wait, wait mm. what what? That that's a big joke. Why? How? Why did they care to join you? Are you yeah. you know, we're skipping like, hey, a just lot. Gotta, Again, like, hey, I just got <laughs> because they don't have enough fucking time and it's so annoying. So annoying. This game could like, have hey, been I just got off of so work. I'm going to go to the <laughs> So I'm going to go to the mall. <laughs> I'm what? hungry. Anyways, I ate pandas. Like, wait, what? No, you skipped eat eating. What did you? Where did you go? Who like? That's so fucking weird. Ah. Ah. This then game. we have um. We did have Arthur Kingley's one as well. Uh, his was pretty cool with him kind of proving himself. Um, there. Mm-hmm. That was He's a sergeant. That was tense. Mm-hmm. Because it starts off paratrooping, mm-hmm. and everyone's getting hyped. Captain's like, "You're gonna do this. We're gonna do this." You hit the ground. You're like way off course. You're like, "Holy fuck!" Fucking like he's like, yourself. "Um." <laughs> you kill like some random Nazi people. Who go. You hide and like you eventually like find everyone. They're like, "All right," and he's like, "Captain's dead." You're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> like I love that. Like it's like constant chaos. You're like, "Shit, yeah. okay, what do we do?" Guys, like we should do this, and he goes. No, we shouldn't. Like, I love Arthur was like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> like, immediately. Like, All right, then you're in charge then. Yeah, I love that too, where he was like, kind of like, fuck it, you do it then. I'm not, I don't want to do it. Like, it almost seemed like he was like, kind of glad. He was like, yep. sure. Then I, he fucking I, throws the vehicle down the fucking ramp <laughs> or down yeah. the hill. Yeah. I'm like, All right. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was essentially his mission. He did go, he had to go kill the gun battery, I think, or something like that. That was cool. Mm-hmm. That whole like kind of sequence was very cool. Mm. Um, and then, oh, this is in the synopsis. So, uh, the your fellow trooper, Sergeant Richard Webb, is the dude who gets shot in his face in the jail cell. Got it. So we got a little bit of Richard there, I guess. Okay. Didn't even know. So obviously not shown that much. Yeah. Uh, but then this ends that. Uh, you of course start the game. They go Novak's dead or whatever. Then the game ends. We've already really covered the beginning and the end. Um, no point for Novak. They never explain how he got him anyway. Did yeah? I I'm glancing through this. Never explained how they got him. Um, there was no. They wouldn't even start his face once. 
Um, it's like it's like Far Cry's Five thing, like where you never see the sheriff's fucking face because <laughs> it's you. Um, did you enjoy the little times where it's like, oh, there's a hit marker, and the press up on the D pad, it says attack or just like have the team do this for yeah. you. Did you enjoy that? I'm I enjoy the idea of what it's supposed to do. Every time I did it, it just didn't work your out. It didn't feel cool. Yeah, I got a trophy out of it. I did one of them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, but when whenever I did it, you could tell it was an automatic reaction from the AI when you hit the button because I would see them cower and not shoot at me before bullets even got anywhere near them. So that kind of broke the immersion. I was like, mm. all right, well, there wasn't even any bullets yet, and you immediately cower as soon as I hit the up on the deep pad. It was kind of, you know, that broke the immersion a little bit. Um, I didn't dislike it. Um the ordering of the charge, the bayonet charge was dope. Uh, mm -hmm. Completely unrelated, but gave me Attack on Titan Season 3 vibes when he has to order the horse charge um, oh, yeah. at the Beast Titan. Kind of gave me mm -hmm. those vibes. That was really cool. Um, yeah. But again, that completely unrelated. had nothing to do with it, but I was just like, ah, this reminds me of like... Fucking throws a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Crunch, crunches the rocks and like a shotgun spread. Jesus, that show is fucking up. So, so good. So fucked up. I love that um, show. Anyways, um, that's not important. I was reading something. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that's I mean that's the game. I mean, the ending when they got on that plane and all all those dossiers with everything. I mean that was interesting, but like it's annoying because they're trying to set up another like, game. Yeah, but I don't feel like they're going to. So there's like I feel like there's like, um, yeah. So. Um, uh, they read off. They read off a bunch of them. One of the I don't remember one of them, but one was basically hinting at zombies. Project Ether. Ether, Ether thank you. And then Project Aggregate was the one they they the, that Arthur goes up to Wade and's like, "Hey, let's go stop there's by." A, there's um, this plane or whatever. Well, it's a V two rocket facility. Thank you. That, and yeah. he asked Jackson to go there. Yeah, he's so like, hey, can you can fly that thing? Up. And he's like, there's nothing that I can't fly. Yeah, so so I was like, all right, so they're going to go steal a plane, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, it's a big bomber plane type yeah. of thing. Yeah, a new, like, experimental rocket thing. So, yeah, it, and then it ends. And and he goes, we are the Vanguard. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm like, whatever. oh, okay. And Alex is like, oh, my God. He's like, there we go. I'm just picturing you, like, finally. Yeah. That was yep. bothering me so much. <laughs> It was, and I literally, that's exactly what I was like, literally was like, we are the Vanguard. I was like, oh, okay, that, whatever. I'm so shocked you care so much. I just, well, because oh, I always... Oh, that's why it's advanced warfare. The warfare was advanced. I mean, I always enjoy to see, it's like, okay, how did they come up with this name? Is it, in, is it part of the story, or did they just fucking put two words together? They put two uh, words together. And put it like in the know. story, it feels like. Um... Overall, it ranks highly in my campaigns for Call of Duty, but that isn't saying much, unfortunately. Yeah, it's in the last couple Call of Duties, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's up there. But I mean, I'll say pretty confidently, this is top five Call of Duties easily. Doesn't have five? much competition. Top five Call of Duties are like out of all of them. There's 18 of, of them. Of campaigns? Yes, easily. There's 18 of them. Alex, I only that's like true. fucking five of them. <laughs> that's, that's true. The rest of them are pretty forgettable. I want three. Okay. I like Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, Black Ops 1 and 2. This Word one. War. <laughs> this. Water Wars campaign? Was yeah, fine. I enjoyed it. Not top I enjoyed five. It. So I could tell you a single thing about that campaign. I could tell you the opening. That's about I mean, it. the dang game is fucking fifteen years old. When was the last time you even touched the game? And how do you remember it? How old is Kingdom Hearts? I know every single fucking thing. Yeah, but we play that on a yearly basis. Yeah, but I didn't. I if I only played it one time, I'd still remember the game. Mm. I still remember parts of Prototype. I love that game. I felt, I played that one time. A I remember a lot of Red Dead Redemption almost the exact same year. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of that. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> you're not helping your case. <laughs> uh, not important. Why I'm are like, we talking I'm about I'm, this? Saying, I don't know because this is how this is how you got a hard on feel about... at war now. What the fuck? What? You haven't talked what about war, we... war in, in ten years <laughs> since oh, the fucking shit. thing came out. Sorry, you talked about zombies. And many zombies you haven't talked about. The campaign of War at War. No, I'm every Call of Duty War at World War II game that I that pops out, which is like all of them. I mentioned War at War because they says never as the gunplay is never as good in my or the gun sound. The guns in general, yeah, yeah. gunplay. But yeah, campaigns, yeah, easily. I probably no, yeah, like this. I probably like this more than. Yeah, they easily. I, I, yeah. Maybe one day we'll rank all the Call of Duties, but I don't. That means we would have to play them all. No, I can go off memory. Don't need to play Advanced Warfare again. Promise you that. No, yeah, no. Promise you that. I like Ghosts. Ghosts wasn't bad. I fucking hated Ghosts. You crazy? Really? That is probably one of the worst I liked Call it better of Duties than, ever. I liked it better than Advanced Warfare or Infinite Warfare. No, I disagree. Hmm. If it was Infinite Warfare, the one with um, Kit Harrington, I think. It that's the one with Kit Harrington. I think so. Okay, I want I like that one more than the other one, Advanced Warfare. And see, I don't even remember. I don't even. Is I, that the one with the robot? Advanced Warfare. Yes, trucks? Infinite Warfare. Okay. Yeah, is the robot one. I love that. Okay, I like. I, the, I like. I, I remember the robot. That's yeah. and I remember going through a, a, a town and a big ass ship comes to me. That's all I remember. Mm-hmm. Again, a, 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 none, none of these are really good. No, yeah. And when we ever sit down, everyone's like, and no one's preaching about Call of Duty campaigns. Let's just get that straight. No one's saying, like, this is so good, you have to play the campaign this year. It's great. Modern Warfare was the last time I went. This is an actual, legit, great story. Like, this like this campaign. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. Of course, 2018. Um, uh, Modern Warfare. Or 2019. Doesn't matter. The last Modern Warfare. That was the last time I actually sat down and went, this was a great campaign. Like, I loved every, almost every, I mean, pretty much every second of that campaign. Um, This one is up there with that one, honestly. This is probably, like, third one, probably. Three or four. Yeah, I mean, Maybe even two. I'd have to really sit down and um rank them, but, yeah. What do you think? Final thoughts, basically. This is this is where we are. Final thoughts. It's better than Battlefield. Is that, is that your final thoughts? <laughs> it's better than Battlefield? Keep, Not well, saying much. Well, I, well I'm saying is like you know, there's always that conversation. Oh, Battlefield's better. Oh, Call of Duty's better. I mean, and, I don't give a uh, shit. I I, yeah. I don't care. No, no, I don't. I don't think the, any of the achievers right now are go, uh, really care. At 56 minutes in this <laughs> in review, if it, if it was better than Battlefield. Um, well, they probably they probably will be like uh they probably will be like hey is Battlefield worth it? We haven't played it yet. In this Vanguard spoiler cast, I couldn't tell you. I'll probably tell you in another episode though when I actually play it. But anyways, what are your final thoughts about Call of Duty Vanguard, Alex? Not Battlefield. Um, I enjoyed it and I do recommend trying it. Okay, I'm glad you recommended it in the spo- in the spoiler cast at the end of the show. But I mean, just. I mean, just because it's a. I mean, I can. I mean, I could not recommend it. Cool. A- anyways, this was. I fucking. I really did enjoy this. Achievers, let us know what you thought. I. This is definitely a Call of Duty year where no one's talking about the game. Because no one. No one's talking about this game. Yeah, I no didn't. One. That's why I wanted to play it because I was like, I haven't heard shit about it. No one. No one is talking about this. I've seen maybe. Two clips of the game. Clips. On Twitter. Like. I'm pretty deep in this shit. I should be able to, you know, I see a lot of the, like, what are, what people are talking about. No one is talking about this game. Very strange. Not saying it's going to affect sales. We'll see how it sells. Clearly, it wasn't crazy, because Activision wouldn't shut the fuck up about it if, it if it was selling well. Yeah. Aside from all that, Alex, that's really all my thoughts with it. Again, I, I overall, I enjoy the campaign. Fun ride. But it screams... We had no time to do what we really wanted. Yeah. We had no time. And it's fucking clear as day. Clear as day. Yeah. Disappointing. Thank you so much for watching this episode of a spoiler cast for Call of Duty Vanguard. 
Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Tweet at us all your question, comments, concerns, thoughts, and idea pertaining to either this video game or anything about the show via... Could be anything about the Patreon. Could be about any scheduling. Stay tuned for even more spoiler cast. We have a Tales of Arise one cooking in the background. We have... Another one that I'm forgetting. We beat some other game recently. Alex, what was it? Guardians? Yes, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy spoiler cast that we owe the Achievers. That will probably be next. And we'll probably save Tales of Arise for last. We do have some other things. Just stay tuned to this podcast service, either the RSS feed or YouTube or Patreon for direct messaging with either us, um, either me or Alex there as well. Aside from that, Achievers, that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned. Again, lots of comment, content coming within the next two weeks. But until then, go Chief. Go Chief. <laughs>